yo what's up everybody welcome back to another video i am at the san antonio airport now i'm actually four hours early now because delays um i don't know what happened i guess san antonio decided to have like a ice and snow day today so and it's i think it's gonna be warm or like pretty warm tomorrow compared to now it's like in the 30s so my flight got delayed so i'm still gonna go in get checked in all that i've had so many changes in my flight ahead of time so i booked almost seven months out eight months out changed several times over the courses had to call in and get it changed again only to get delayed anyway but yeah uh if all goes right i mean the weather doesn't look too bad now and i don't i think uh chicago is getting better too so if all goes well i'll still be there in time i just won't be there early i'm gonna have to get there go straight to the uh award show and then uh, you know see what happens you know the good thing is they're having that after party now so i'll get to kind of rush into it but then i get to hang out afterwards and uh, we'll see how that goes if it gets delayed any more though might not make it so if you don't see me there if you guys were were there or if you don't see me post that i was there or anything it's because i got delayed again so we'll find out right now i'm gonna hop in the uh airport just dreading getting down because it's like i said 30s out there and uh Hopefully, I don't know, I'm gonna grab something to eat. It is lunchtime. So I'll just eat something here at the airport. I know they got a water burger and some barbecue spots. So check in, go through, yeah, go through TSA. They have everything on the other side. Go through TSA and then eat and hopefully board in like three hours, three and a half hours. So we'll see. Actually, never mind. My dumbass had to leave the parking lot after I already uh, got in, pay to get out, go to Walmart and get a damn under uh, dress shirt. I forgot my dress shirt of all things to forget. And uh, speaking of shirts, I got hoodies too. Check out the merch, HVAC Nights, gonna be repped in uh, Chicago. So I didn't get to uh, record a lot. I didn't get to enjoy a lot of it. I missed a big portion of the uh, show. Literally sat down right before Ben got on stage to start the show. Got to see the uh, awards coming up and uh, somehow made it nominated to two categories. So that blew me away. But uh, yeah, actually I uh, did something best social content award and that means a lot it's a cool little uh you know award appreciate it and like i did when i went up tired as hell you know like i said i barely made it here and uh you know i thank my family and everything because they support me in everything that i do um yeah but uh, thanks to you guys too, right? Because you guys like what I do. And that means a lot because, you know, anybody can post a video or a picture online and just like not do well or, you know, does nobody likes it. So the fact that you guys actually watch what I post, engage with me, talk to me because that's the whole reason I did a podcast too was just to talk to people because that's the easiest way I can get a full conversation with a lot of you guys and I always want anybody and everybody to join the podcast which has been a little overwhelming because a lot of you um, have taken me up on that 
I love it. Super fun. The only problem is I can't post the several times, several of those a week. It's one a week. So, you know, if I haven't gotten to you, I'll get to you. And, uh, yeah, now I got to get some rest. Uh, it was a little hectic getting stopped a lot for this to, um, I don't know. You guys are, are my friends. You guys are super cool. I just want to talk to you guys and hang out with you guys and see you guys do well. Uh, the ones that are creating content, if you're just out in the field, I hope you're better today than you were yesterday. And if I can help in that, even better. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk to everybody. But then I had companies running up to me, but it's whatever. Um, like I said, when I, I think I mentioned this, I was actually in the live stream as my plane was landing, telling my Uber driver, I need to haul ass over here because I had to be there at a certain time or risk not being, I don't know if they would have closed or locked the doors, but like, I don't want to be interrupting a show either. But when I was in that live stream, a few of you guys popped in there um, that watched my, my show and my stuff. And, you know, like I told you there, this is for you all, just as much as it is for me, it's the, the social content award. So my social media is nothing without people actually enjoying it, engaging in it and talking to me, getting to know you guys. That's the best part of it. So we did it. I need a drink. I need to, my mouth is super dry. I didn't even get to enjoy my dinner. Um, I'm going to look for a water, soda, something, and then crash out because now this was hectic. AHR Expo hasn't even begun. I got to do that tomorrow. So we'll see. All right, guys, what's up? I'm running a little late. I got to get to the AHR Expo. I've already gone for one day. Today is Tuesday. Monday, I just spent the day going around talking to people. I appreciate everybody who stopped me, and it's really cool to, to get to talk to people who watch the YouTube channel, Instagram, all that stuff. So thank you for stopping me at, at the expo. It's been really crazy, though. Everybody said that this is what it was like before uh, COVID, which I've only been to the Vegas one and Atlanta for the past two years, which were a lot more chill as the Vegas one not that many people the Atlanta one was busy but not this busy this one's been super hectic super crazy and right now I'm gonna walk I'm gonna record today I got some um, scheduled things to do so I'm gonna try and stick to my schedule go to the other booths that I didn't get to go to yesterday I just kind of hung out yesterday talked or caught up with everybody and then today we're going to record. Uh, hopefully we do some HVAC Nights content. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to just record and vlog today. So let's go. Yo, who's this guy? Hey, hey, HVAC song. What's up, man? <laughs> Holden. Sir. Say what's up real quick. How you doing, guys?
Alright, so Vito's the first stop of the day. Let's uh, set up over here. Yo, look who I found, man. All right, Ace Back people. Hey, I want to tell Malawa, HBACR, hey, congratulations on the award you were won. And I'm glad to be a part of that in 2023. I, I was a part of his first award in 2023. Got an awesome podcast, got an awesome HBAC channel, so y'all check him out. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Y'all take care, man. All right. Yes, yes, yes. We got our next guys up here. We got AJ, Caleb, returning returning contestants from yesterday, looking to shave down their time. Okay, so we're gonna run a clean contest, right? All right, all right. So first thing we'll do, pop that gauge off the middle of your tank. That's just to prove to yourselves and everybody watching that your tank is in fact open to atmosphere. We're starting with a clean slate. Okay, there's no Schrader core in that port. Go ahead and put that back on. For anybody walking by or watching for the first time, this is a race to 500 microns, not just to 500 microns, but also to make to, to, to select your setup, select your pump, your hoses, your hardware. So that's being evaluated in time just as much as the actual pull down. So you guys I know have, uh, have done this once or twice already in previous day. But we evaluate, look at the bottom shelf, you've got four vacuum pumps to choose from, eight, seven, four, and two CFM. We have corded models, we have cordless battery operated models, DC driven, and an AC driven pump as well. So plenty, plenty of selection to choose from. We have these glossy hoses, these are three quarter inch inner diameter. We have these matte black hoses, these are half inch inner diameter. We have quarter inch hoses on the manifolds, in case you want to get disqualified for wasting everybody's time. Let's go! So what's up, Francisco? Hola! 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 Bienvenidos! <laughs> hey, Lance. Say what's up. What's up? How we doing? <laughs> Supporting the cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the key is so, I mean, I'm going to right there. So that's 1800 degrees, but I don't feel it at all. Don't. Consolidated right there. Talking TXP, you're talking uh, if you're working on aluminum, really tight spaces. How much is it set up like that? About 300. That's pretty good in the country. This is an accessory torch. Whole thing. Nothing goes in the backpack. Oh, it's not in the backpack. Yeah. Let's we'll talk about the nitrogen in one second. So, um, the oxygen, you're going to get about 30 to 35 minutes out of the cylinder. Out of these oxygen cylinders. How many did you say? 30 35. So, I don't, but here's the way I look at it. Uh, if you're looking on a new install, I average a six to eight joints, so we're on a pair to a two joints. Either way, you get a bunch of jobs. Bro, say what's up. Are we on me? Yeah, it doesn't even look like it. It's what's on, up, baby. Say what's up. <laughs> what's up, man? It's not before me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I saw this. I had to bring the energy up. I am exhausted. Like, now you are? Like, exhausted to an extent. Like, my exa like You know how you're always very mundane and quiet? Cause that's just you. Yeah. I almost feel that way. We're going to pass the uh, torch. 
uh, and uh, give the torch to uh, Louise and uh, and show him what he can expect uh, moving forward. Thank you, everybody. So, as Lance was saying, I had the distinct honor and privilege to have my IQ logo. On one of these amazing top to hop lock. Not only on the hop lock, but on the aluminum coil repair kit bag. The uh, block with the dog campaign, absolutely phenomenal. Once in a lifetime experience. Thank you so much, Lance, for having me on your product. Man, it, what an amazing year it was. Give it up for Lance. <laughs> now, let's do it again. After Matt Walker. Yeah. Who's a Walker guy? Sorry, I'm going to screw okay. your name up on purpose. But 2023, as great as it was, be in the face of the Solder Well campaign, the time has come. You pass the proverbial and literal torch. Oh. Off to my man, Luis. Oh. So not only is Luis now the official face of the Hop Lock campaign, he has the literal and proverbial torch. Congratulations. That's right, puppy. You the seven. What do you guys say? Congratulations, brother. bro? Immortalized. Papa. What do you have to say? I just want to say thank you to Matt. Thank you to Lance for bringing me to take this part in the Awesome. Thank you, bro. Boom, boom, boom. Well done. Well done. Okay. <laughs> you want to take a picture of the Jimmy? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Got it. All the angles. All right. Straight up and down. Okay? All good. And just simply keep it on the flux. The flux is going to tell you when to add the rod. It'll go clear. So keep it going. Keep it going. Just kind of move it back and forth a little bit. Right there. Good. Hold on, hold on. Almost. Now lay the rod. Hey, and bring your heat back a little bit. There you go. Good. There. Perfect. All right. Good. Let's add a little bit. Oh, you got it. Perfect. It flowed right on there. Follow the flux. Well done, Joey. Has everybody got a chance to see Robert demo the uh, Jumper King? Awesome product. You guys know it. Uh, founder, owner, distributor. He's just uh, launching this product out there, and it is moving like crazy. As you guys know, uh, he uh, came up with the idea, and hopefully it's making everybody's lives a lot easier. This is the Jumper King, as I like to personally call it. Non-peasant, that's me personally, okay? <laughs> Non-peasant. Hey, this is like a portable thermostat that you gotta take it with you instead of using jumper, uh, instead of using jumper wires. All right, guys, so we had a lot of fun over in Chicago. I meant to record in the hotel, but man, I was like tired that Tuesday night. Got my stuff ready for the next day. I had to leave and catch a early flight and uh, kind of just like, I was even running late for that, but that's a whole other thing. And uh, yeah, we had some fun, loved AHR, loved meeting everybody that that was there. And if you stop me, I really appreciate that because I always hate when I miss people, right? So th there was people that I didn't get to see and I wish I had gotten to uh, run into them, but it, it's such a huge place. It, it, it's very crazy and, you know, it, you can only see so much, especially in two days. I try to do three, but... We, only, we usually only do two. Uh, it's kind of hard to stay there all three days, but yeah. Uh, like I said, I had fun catching up with people. That's kind of what I wanted to do. That's what you should do is network with everybody. Catch up with, you know, your online uh, Instagram HVAC friends and enjoy the booth. That The different booths, that's what you're going to do. Um, all the setups, all the competitions, you can get a lot of stuff. I didn't really care. I don't want to carry too much uh, back, but I did grab some t-shirts and, and cups and different things and uh, some Elitech gauges, which are really cool. If you guys want to see something on that, maybe I can uh, showcase it a little bit. They're the little mini ones uh, comparable to like the headless Testo ones. I picked up a couple of those, so might use them. Check them out. They're super easy to, to carry around little digital gauges so yeah um as far as the award you know thank you guys for nominating me i got some messages from people that they nominated 
needed me in different categories and maybe that's why I got in a few or a couple because uh, I know I know some people were telling me that they nominated me for influencer of the year and uh, social content which are the ones that I was uh, nominated up on screen for and then some people were saying for podcast too and then wasn't nominated for that but everybody was like oh next year you're gonna be in that one but we'll see cool to get one cool to be recognized it's an honor i really appreciate it because that's by peers and, and people that nominate me right so you guys nominate me and then like a group of my peers are the ones that vote so i was able to get one super happy super stoked can't wait to see how the new year um kicks off and uh yeah i'll go over the award more maybe later on i'm just beat i'm tired i'm gonna grab some grub i found i don't even know i i've been to this one but i don't know if it's the same one that me and my brother hit up last year bb or bb's tex orleans either they remodeled or i'm at the wrong one but i really like their food so i'm gonna go get down eat something and then drive like three and a half hours back and uh try and be home for dinner yeah i think that's it Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys.